Will President Obama ever say radical Islamic terrorism? Will he ever do anything to help stop the killing? Father Tom, a Catholic priest from India, was kidnapped by ISIS militants in Yemen earlier this month. And then this past Friday, Good Friday to Catholics and Christians around the world, the day we celebrate and commemorate the death of Jesus Christ, ISIS crucified Father Tom. How does this happen? This heinous murder, this grotesque showmanship of evil. I can't even wrap my mind around it. Is our president truly more interested in being politically correct? In not hurting other people's feelings? In pleading with sketchy nations like an insecure teenager to be our friend? How can he be more interested in that than he is about the evil of radical Islamists? We're numb to it. We're so used to seeing on the news every week bombings in Paris that killed 130 innocent people, shootings in San Bernardino that killed 14 people, attacks in Brussels that killed over 30. In Turkey, it seems like almost on a weekly basis. This very weekend, in Pakistan. Yet our president tells us the problem is guns in America. He tells us we're going to welcome more refugees into America, even though we can't vet them. He shows us he cares more about going to baseball games with dictators, dancing the tango, than he does about human lives around the world. Why won't President Obama admit the problem? The evil is radical Islamic terrorism. What kind of attack is he waiting for? Sure, you can cut off the heads of the organizations themselves. You can defeat the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, even ISIS. But until you stamp out the ideology of radical Islamists, until you look at the violence they perpetrate around the world, until you admit that the bombing, the stabbing, the burning, the drowning, beheading, and crucifying is motivated, it's justified in the minds of these killers because of what they believe about their religion, until you can say that the terrorists are radical Islamists, that they'll stop at nothing to complete their violent jihad, more people around the world will be slaughtered, will be brutalized, will be killed. Why won't President Obama call it what it is? Why won't he say it's radical Islamic terrorism? Why won't he help stamp out the violent, evil, deadly ideology? That's my final point. You can always reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. We'll be back tomorrow for an all-new episode of Tipping Point. And until then, have a great night.